two victories in North Africa, Italy, and Normandy. The paratrooper has come to symbolize the highest level of professionalism, dedication, sacrifice, and duty. These traits exhibited by all U.S. service members are preserved in the veterans of all wars. The men and women who fought and sacrificed so that we may all live freely today. The airborne veterans performing for you today dedicate this show to their fellow veterans, freedom, defenders of veterans, and true American heroes. If you direct your sky, you will see the parachute team. As the jumpers approach the stadium, they're going to exit out overhead. The team member leading the team in is going to be the team captain. He is exiting the plane, followed by the other two members of the team. Oh, here he comes. On this day, we salute the servicemen and women who serve their country with dignity and honor in our hours of need. Their selfless service throughout the history has enabled this great nation of freedom and justice that is honored and copied throughout the world. We pause to pay tribute to those who keep the flag flying as a symbol of peace and prosperity. That freedom can bring, but most of all, we must remember those who have paid the ultimate sacrifice so that we all may live free. As the jumpers approach the stadium, they will start to be able to hear you, so let's hear it for the jumpers right now. The first member to land will be Mike Elliott. He's a retired Army veteran who has over 14,000 parachute jumps. Oh my goodness. That's 14,000, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it. He has 810 parachute jumps. Let's hear it for Nick. <laughs> Landing last will be Derek Fisher, an active duty member of the United States Army who has 1,400 parachute jumps. He's also going to be bringing in the Duke flag, so all you do fans, let's hear it for Derek. the all veteran team are flexible wing gliders constructed of lightweight ripstop nylon. These parachutes have a forward air speed of 22 miles per hour. To turn left, they pull the left steering line. To turn right, they pull the right steering line. As the jumpers near the ground, they will pull down on both steering lines simultaneously for a safe soft landing. As they approach the stadium, you'll start to be able to see them make minor corrections as they land Thank you to all the military members that support us every day. Thank you.